Hi and welcome, this is the next part for our Unity 2D tutorial and in this one I will show you how these blue guys are eaten up by the eaters. So create your bag, here we are in Unity 5 with our game Hit and Split and the new animated eaters, the blue guys here, hanging down from the ground. And let's see what we implemented so far. When we hit the blue guy here with the boxing glove, he makes the same sound. I think I have to change this and we can split this up. Now the blue guy at the top, the bigger one, is able to eat monsters that are split one times. Not this anymore because I split this two times now. And you can see this smaller mouth is able to eat guys that are split two times. And this has to be done till all monsters are eaten up. Great. So the next step will be to um, implement that you only have a certain amount of time and uh, you get points and so on. But now let's see how this mouth, this blue mouth guys uh, are being created. What we have here, we have uh, first of all an animator. So by default they play this idle animation. How these animations can be created, I covered in a previous tutorial. Here is the link. And we have two animations, the idle and the eat animation. When the eat animation is played and is finished, we return to the idle animation. Now for this mouth here. I added a so-called Edge Collider 2D and when I press Edit Collider, you can see that I can change this. I can um, define more points here for the edge and yeah I will create more points to quite a perfectly match here the outline which is perhaps not that necessary but just to show how this works okay this is the collider from which the blue monsters are bouncing off okay and below that, I added a box collider 2D. This is the rectangle below. And as you can see, I defined this to be a trigger. We will see why I did this later on. I attached a script called eater and the script has a member variable called split count. This is a public variable. This means I can change this here for the small guy and for the small guy I set it to 3. So let's see the script as explanation. By default the split count is 2 and I have an animator and this animator variable I get in the start method. This is the animator of the blue mouth. And in the method on trigger enter 2D I check if a blue monster has entered this trigger I cast here to the script or to the class monster and if this is the case I check if the split count I defined for the mouth and for the monster, the current split count for the monster, which is a member variable of this monster script, is, uh, is the same. And if this is the same, I disable the edge collider 2D because I don't want my monster to be bounced off by the mouth and then I play the eat animation and after a certain amount of time I destroy the monster game object and reactivate the edge collider because we will need it again when new monsters hit the mouth. So I think that's not much and not really complicated. Let's play it again and we can see the game is getting more and more interesting. Please subscribe to my channel and if you like the tutorial, please let me know. Again, as always, I uploaded the whole project to my Patreon account. Be my patron, download it from there, play around with it and learn new stuff. And new ideas and inputs from your side are always welcome. See you soon.